Hi Cancer, welcome back to my channel. This will be a reading to see how your special person is feeling, anything they've been thinking about or wanting to approach you about. So it will be a general love reading. Um, if you'd like a private reading, please feel free to email me. My email is listed below this video. Right, let's jump straight into it and see. How do they feel, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? How do they feel about you and your situation? Okay, a new romantic cycle begins, a new moon in Libra. This is a very symbiotic card because the scales here points to a lot more balance. Someone is feeling a lot more balanced or a lot more closer to you, Cancer. It might be someone under the sign of a Libra you might be dealing with, but Libra energy is all about partnerships, okay? They're, they very much... Um, rule the relationship realm they're very equal when it comes to relationships that they're they're, um, they're the equalizer so to speak when it comes into partnerships because they like everything balanced a new moon of course indicates new beginnings um, new period of balance that's coming in or someone is starting to feel a lot more balanced um, than than you previously might have been it's indicating a well-balanced connection or someone feeling like you're finally on an equal playing field, that you both finally have equilibrium in your relationship because Libra is a sign of love and harmony, um, negotiation, relationships, um, kindness. So the fact that this has come up around this person, it's definitely connected to partnerships. There might be someone that wants to become exclusive with you, uh, Cancer. Um, and it's, you know, it's all about a pairing. It's a very, it's a team, it's a team type energy. So someone feels like you've got their back and they've got yours. So there's a lot more appreciation happening here because it's about the both of you. Um, it can be about partnerships, negotiations, um, justices as well. So possibly someone wanting to move, um, be legally binded to you or move in together or do some sort of legal. Maybe there's talks of marriage or talks of union here as well happening around some of you. Um, so I like this. I feel someone feels like things are really, really well balanced around you. Wow, you've got the Ace of Cups, Eight of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and last card, the Chariot. A lot of water energy here. And then you do have more swords, which could be a Libra, it could be an air sign. But let's look at that beautiful Ace of Cups, shall we? Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, water energy. This is all about renewed um cleansing situation or renewed ability um it's your cup um your cup overflowing here cancer this is very very beautiful you've got the bird here which is quite a delicate um, creature it's also a messenger so for those that are dealing with an air sign here i feel like this person is coming up here there's possibly a message of an offer or there's a message of love happening the ace of cups is a deeply emotive card cancer so i do feel like someone might be offering you love um and this is the Holy Grail. Someone feels like they're receiving uh, so much love and compassion. They're feeling safe and secure, okay, around you. They're feeling like you're doing a lot for them. So if you have been um, supporting them emotionally, if you have been supporting them financially, if you've been supporting them mentally, they definitely feel that support. Remember, they feel balance. They feel the romance and they feel the harmony. So whatever you've been giving to them, you've been giving a lot. I can see that, Cancer. You've been giving a lot of your time and your energy um, towards this person. And they definitely appreciate it or they're coming to appreciate it. Why? Because it's a new moon. It's the start of a new phase. So the start of someone really appreciating everything you're giving to them, how much of yourself you are devoting to them as well, um, cancer they're, they're definitely seeing that someone is thinking about you marriage wise or commitment wise um, or there's some sort of ceremony it's like they they want to celebrate something um, it could be quite ceremonial or traditional they may communicate this to you they feel it but they might not be saying it just yet and the reason i say that is because they have the eight of swords and this is them um, fearful or anxious to express what they really think or feel or you know, it's a period where we feel blinded, where, where things are a little bit mysterious. So I'm seeing that mentally this person is a bit disoriented. I don't know if you've proposed something or you've said to them you want marriage or commitment or 
you you love them or you're growing you're growing attached to them um if this is happening to someone they will come around you do matter a lot because you've come up as the cancer for them um you've come up in their um in their reading but i feel like mentally you might need to give them space it's it's a card of not having movement or feeling like we're very we're um I want to say that some of you might have, this just came to me, I want to say some of you might have friend zoned someone or put someone in some sort of category and now they feel stuck or confined. This might not be the same person here um, because they are wanting more romance, but they're not sure how to go about them. There's a bit of nervous energy about them, so they might be unsure about um, how to do that if that makes sense or how to go about that or how to talk to you about that and not that you're unapproachable cancer because you know but someone feels like you definitely hold a lot of power which i sense you do uh, with the chariot card here but you're also you you've come up for them as the queen of cups um, and she's extremely emotional um, she's got the holy grail in her hand in fact you can see this there it is god's god's chalice god's cup here um Someone feels like they have something really, really special with you and they're really going to start to appreciate. If they haven't shown this appreciation, you're going to see it on a much more emotional level. Or if this person hasn't been very emotional or hasn't shown much, um, you know, I don't know if it's through tears or through expression or through but their feelings, but they're going to convey their emotions to you. And I think this is why there's a lot of water cards that have come up because it's a new romantic cycle, but it's a um, they're feeling emotionally romantic around you, but they, they feel safe and secure in your arms. I almost feel like this person feels like the Holy Grail and here you are admiring them. So there's someone around you, Cancer, that knows you're into them that knows you want to look after them, you want to take care of them, you want to be there for them, you want to be vulnerable with them, you want to um, engage with them emotionally. They know it, okay, they see it. And I love the little cherubims here, the angels, because I feel like this delicates, um, this, this symbolizes um, a very delicate connection, um, surely a very valuable connection as well. But there is definitely someone that's falling in love with you, Cancer. Um, and you'll see a lot more romance from this person and a lot more emotional support. If you haven't gotten this, um, you, I feel like you're going, you're, you're going to receive an, um, an influx of emotions from them. But someone's definitely feeling more in touch with their feelings, which is nice to see because it's, a, it's, it's all about progression here, uh, which came up in, in the form of the chariot. Um, quite a mighty card of progression and movement in the right direction. Um, the black and the white sphinxes here, this is divine masculine and divine feminine. So there's definitely someone out there um, who's seeing you as their divine masculine or divine feminine, a higher power. You've got the ace of cups with the hand of God here. So there's someone that's definitely regarding you as heaven sent. Um, someone's hopeful of a future with you or hopeful for the future. The stars indicate hope and magic and seeing stars. Someone is definitely going to be more romantic or they're going to be doing really sweet and thoughtful gestures for you that will make you happy. And this is you in your element because you've come up as your sign here with the chariot. Uh, the stars, back to the stars, astrological compatibility. But I do want to mention healing. Sometimes with the stars, we can um, point to healing or a higher realm. And the fact that the Ace of Cups has come up as well, if some of you are trying to heal from a situation or you're wanting a person to heal, I do think that this is happening or it's starting to happen. There's progression towards forgiveness, um, opening yourself up to something, um, or sorry, them opening themselves up to you maybe. But that's sort of coming up around them with the Chariot card. There's also mobility, um, but it's also a chariot is a car that stepped into the open. Um, it was a, a general or a leader or someone that was well known that stepped into the open and everybody knew who he was and what his purpose was and everybody respected and revered him. So there could be more respect 
or a growing respect. But this could also be monogamy or exclusivity for a lot of you. You might be coming out, okay, the stars is fame or having something known to the public or to the people around you. So you might be coming out with your relationship and, and becoming more public with it. Um, but this is what this person is wanting. In fact, this person is possibly telling people about you, maybe even changing their relationship status online. You know, the star card here, um, putting pictures of you and tagging you in it. It's something like this that might be connected to, just thought I, I had to mention it. So there could be a connection between this uh, Cancer. But there's definitely more romance, but it's an equal playing field. You're equally going to be um, like this towards each other so it's not very one-sided because it's harmony and romance and relationships so things are things are much more balanced and the two sphinxes although they're very different with black and white energy they sit right by um, right by each other supporting each other um, they're coming up as a team so you might feel like you're actually being considered like you're a team like you're a couple but they're there by your side, which shows a lot more support, and you're equally pulling the weight of the chariot. You're equally protectors, um, championers, you know, advocates of this special connection that you have with this person. So I really like that. I think as someone that's feeling quite great, um, someone feels like they're much more emotionally in control as well. So if you have had someone who's been fearful, someone who's been a little bit disoriented lately, so they might not be overly sensitive they might not be hot and cold they might be more in control and really own what they're feeling and whether it is that they're feeling mentally clouded or they're feeling open and abundant and free i feel like this person they've got a grip of themselves cancer so i think for those of you that have dealt with someone that's been a little bit off the rails and hasn't really decided what they want i feel like someone is definitely getting a new grip new moon in libra um, they're definitely understanding the dynamic of your relationship, of your connection better, um, is what I'm sensing here. But look, I will leave it at that, um, Cancer. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in and watching. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to leave behind a like and a subscribe, and we shall be connecting soon. So thanks again, everyone. Bye for now.